Basing on this example, basing on this example, I can introduce one extra concept which is used in the yellow book from time to time, and you, ha you have to know this concept. I will call this definition. I will call this a definition. It's called it, the definition said this: the set of vectors like so. The set of vectors like so. It is called spanning, and after term, it's a new term which is defined by my definition. A set of vectors is called spanning. A set is called spanning if and only if the span, the span of this set, covers the whole vector space. So any vector can be represented as a, as a span of the elements of my set. If this is the case, the set is called spanning. V here is a vector space. The example we have we have just finished actually give us very clearly give us another opportunity to, to I mean give us the opportunity to test this definition because you see what happens in my row echelon form all pivots they ended up on the left hand side meaning that if I put here another vector not the one which was given us at the beginning different a vector it will be different right hand side here in my row echelon form reduction but pivots still will be on the left hand side. All of them will be on the left hand side. Meaning that even though I take another vector, it, the system will, will still be solvable. And we now see that any vector, no matter which vector I put in here, for any vector there will be a solution, which means for any vector will be in a span. And so these three vectors of the question 34, they are spanning these three vectors together as a set. It is a spanning set for the R free vector space. So question 34 give us actually more as an example and that gives me the I mean like it gives me the opportunity to demonstrate what the spanning set is and how to test for the set to be spanning. You build the matrix, you take it to the row echelon form via Gaussian elimination and see whether you have all pivots on the left hand side.